what's, what's interesting about FAU is they have a really good opportunity to be a really strong contributor to marine science. What they have is a great location right here on the coast, and they have this facility that they cl uh, collaborate with here at the Gumbo Limbo Environmental Complex. What this enables them to do is maintain animals in large flow through seawater systems. We don't have to worry about filtering seawater and taking care of all that. It just pumps right in from the ocean. We use it and it pumps right back out again. There are actually relatively few people in the country who work on, on sharks and their relative sharks and rays, things like that. And even here in South Florida, there have traditionally been uh, a few labs that have done it, but not very many. And there's been no one really here in South Florida in the East Coast that's been a strong uh, shark lab contributor. Uh, University of Miami has a lab, but it's primarily based over in the Bahamas. They're not doing a lot right here, you know, in Florida. Mm -hmm. The nurse sharks, we were addressing a couple of questions. Number one is, how well do they smell? Again, the nurse sharks, if you look at them, have little beady eyes. They're not probably very good visual predators, but they most likely rely on their very large olfactory organs to help them locate prey. And mm -hmm. since a lot of their prey are um, more or less buried in the substrate, a lot, you know, in, in the sand, they're probably trying to sniff them out for the most part. And so my student Trisha is looking to see how well the nurse sharks smell. 